Dr. Sergio Canavero is an Italian neuroscientist and is someone who has been making the news in the last few years. This is because he and his team claim that they're close to being able to perform the first head transplant. Dr. Sergio has been claiming that he and his team are able to perform the head transplant and that they aim to do this on someone very soon. Some people have come forward to say they would like to participate in this, and this mainly comes from those whose bodies are no longer functioning as they should, so a surgery such as this one could potentially change their life. One of the problems with these claims is that people aren't sure what is true and what isn't. The neuroscientist keeps popping up in the media every couple of years or so, and back in 2017 he claimed that he had successfully performed a head transplant. This claim made news all around the world, with pretty much everyone saying what an incredible achievement this was. However, once the dust has settled, people soon started to ask questions. It turns out the head transplant was done on a monkey, and while it's reported that the monkey did survive the procedure, it's also claimed that the animal was only kept alive for 20 hours due to ethical reasons. The next issue came when the doctor said he didn't reconnect the spinal cord to the monkey. Researchers said this would have been a big problem for the monkey as it would have been paralysed for life. A lack of consciousness and not being able to survive past a day didn't give doctors in the field confidence, and it's caused the majority of people to say that these claims are likely a stunt. Regardless, the Italian neurosurgeon has said the procedure can be done and that it will likely happen within the next few years. Doctors have gone on to say that certain procedures can work while others just don't. For example, there was a story that was covered a while back when a young adult had a damaged spine. The doctors operating on them managed to reattach the spinal cord, but they said the reason this worked is because they were working with something that was damaged. When something is completely severed it's a different story, it's one of the reasons why they believe the doctor's words are not rooted in fact. This idea has been thrown around before, and it's not as simple as just taking a head and placing it on a body. You can't just connect things in this way. Scientists have said though that although we might be years away from doing a head transplant, every year we are making new incredible discoveries in the field of science, and it's these ones that we should be celebrating. Since the dawn of the age of information, it feels as if humanity has been at a constant rate of breakthroughs and discoveries since the beginning of the 21st century. This means that every year we see new and exciting technologies and scientific breakthroughs that make the front pages. One recent breakthrough involves 3D printing. Although the technique has been in practice for quite some time, 3D transplanted organs have been making strides in the field of organ development and seen in potential use for people of all kinds all across the world for different reasons. We have already seen humans heart grow in labs and being built by the use of stem cells and structures built from 3D printed skeletons, but it appears that with recent breakthroughs the process will become more accessible to the public in the coming years. Developing their work on the years of previous research into the field, a team of research scientists from the Imperial College of London and the King's College London have worked around the clock to create new techniques for printing 3D structures to be used for human organs and tissues. They rely on the use of cryogenics to create structures that can mimic the mechanical properties of brain and lung tissues to be used to help repair damaged tissues without risk of rejection from donors and transplants. This could potentially help to solve modern day medicine issues such as that of transplant rejection, organ and tissue shortages, and perhaps in the near future total blindness in a patient since birth. The potential to help repair and replace any damaged organs in the body, excluding that of the human brain without the expense of an organ donor, could mean the overall life expectancy of a human being going well past triple digits and perhaps even longer than 150 years. This could mean that a person could theoretically live for hundreds of years longer than previously expected, and still be in good enough shape with the addition of transplants and tissue repairs. The universal donor blood also made the news. 
as many people are aware. The nature of different blood types makes it a difficult problem faced by modern medicine facilities. The need to ensure that the right blood type were given to certain people, as to prevent an immune response and the rejection of the new blood. This leaves only one blood type known as O, to be used as the basis of a universal donor blood type that can be accepted by all blood types in the world. Unsurprisingly, O blood is incredibly rare and leaves many of that specific blood type out of donors when they are faced with issues of blood loss and blood transfusions. Fortunately, it appears that a recent scientific breakthrough might help research scientists to convert all blood types into the universal donor variation that can be used to help combat blood transfusions issues seen today. This revolutionary breakthrough comes from researchers from the University of British Columbia that believe they have discovered a new enzyme from the human gut that can help convert type A and type B blood types into a type O blood. This is done by using the enzymes to help break down the sugars attached to red blood cells that help the body to distinguish between different blood types to then be allowed to be accepted as a universal donor blood type. There were previously discovered practices that could perform this task though they were believed to be terribly inefficient this new practice is believed to be more than 30 times more efficient than previously discovered methods and will see practical clinical trials in the coming years. This could mean that in the next five years, this technology could be used to help make all blood types into universal donors and help to solve the chronic blood supply shortage seen all across the world. So what do you make of these recent claims and discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.